Hello, this is Michelle Knight and welcome to your June monthly. It's a great month full of potential. Yes, we have Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto and at the end of the month, Mars going retrograde. But it kicks off with Venus trine Jupiter and Venus trine Neptune, a grand water trine which plunges us into our emotions, into love, into sensitivity, compassion and deep, deep connection. Venus is entering Leo, giving us all a love boost and Neptune and Mars are going retrograde, joining Jupiter, Saturn and Pluto. It's time to get into the time travel machine and see where we went wrong and how we can cure our past. Here's your monthly astrology. Virgo, this month, there are two main areas for you to focus on. That's your career, your reputation, your standing in the world. And also, there is a lot of magic and intrigue connected to the groups of people that you hang out with, pushing yourself forward in a group. Maybe a little bit of romantic intrigue when it comes to relationships, lust and all that jazz. Let's start at the beginning. Now, your ruler Mercury is trying Mars on the first. So you're very confident and you're especially confident when it comes to your career. You're like, right, let's go. Let's make it happen. And you're very paying attention to detail. You're getting things done. In fact, it's going to annoy you if other people are not doing what they should be doing. But fortunately, it's a trine. So you're able to just get on with your stuff. On the same day, Venus, the planet of love, is trying Jupiter and Venus is also trying Neptune and you are sort of opening up to your feelings it may be that you find yourself engaging or flirting with somebody that is either in in a work group a friendship group a social group and you're batting ideas off each other and you're excited about the communication suddenly you're getting a load of texts and you're like oh this is exciting and you're feeling very open also, if you are in a relationship and you're not interested in anyone else, it's a great time to get out and about and do things that are really meaningful to the pair of you. Maybe go and listen to some music um, or a concert or go out to somewhere where there are other people, but it has meaning to the soul of your relationship and it feels sort of deep and spiritual and connected. With the Sun conjunct Mercury on the 6th, there's a lot going on in your career. And it's up to you to push yourself out there now and to be confident. Be a little bit careful, though, because you may feel as if there's this intrigue starting with a, a friend or someone you know in a social group or any kind of group, group really. And it's, it's becoming very intense. But as Venus is opposing Pluto, be careful you don't get obsessed or you're not being sort of seduced for the wrong reasons or someone seducing you for the sake of seducing you. There are worse problems in life, but you don't want to get hurt or let someone manipulate you. Because also Mercury is square Neptune. So there is illusion in the air. Might even be someone that you work with that's very flirtatious. But either way, enjoy it, but don't kind of give your heart and soul away until you're clear what's going on. Because even on the seventh, the sun is square Neptune. And you're just, there's a lot of uh, blurred and, and confusing communication where you feel that people are saying one thing, but they mean another. Thank goodness Mercury is shifting signs on the 12th and you're like, mm, okay, I feel much more comfortable in groups now. I feel that I can speak my mind. I can be a leader if I need to be. I could be a mover and shaker. The new moon on the 13th is all about your career and starting a new cycle. Maybe you have suddenly decided to let go, change jobs, move on, or maybe a job is coming to an end and you're like, oh, what's going to happen next? Do not panic because there is a brand new cycle coming for you around your career. Obviously, you've got to work at it. You've got to push yourself forward. You've got to, you've got to do that stuff. But generally, there is great opportunity there. And so, some really good news this month is that mercury your ruler is trine jupiter the planet of good fortune now that is 
mega magic because it allows you to put out there what you want to put out there you're enthusiastic you're excitable you're expansive and you are really feel that you've got the right people around you that you can work with and that you can collaborate with having said that don't commit to too much it may be that you're so enthusiastic you say yeah yeah i could do this i could do that i'm gonna do this and you take on too much responsibility let's not forget that jupiter is retrograde now mercury is also opposing saturn on the 16th you may feel a bit restless like you want to be free but you can't be free at the moment work with that energy do what you got to do uh, get any chores done so that then you can enjoy being happy and free uh, and all of that stuff with venus on the 13th going into leo sorry for going backwards and forwards but when leo um venus goes into leo you're feeling very deep and you're having very cosmic flirtations and connections there's a sort of a sense of a deeper meaning to them all you feel like you're plunging into something and you're swimming in waters that you've never swum in before and you're just some someone or someone in particular looks at you you feel like you're crossing into a boundary into their very soul so it's a very deep and meaningful month but it also requires you to take advantage of it but don't lose yourself in the kind of more murky bits the sun is shifting sign on the 21st and you are able to again really shine when it comes to groups of people mercury is trying neptune on the same day making you feel deeply connected and having really intense communications particularly with lovers but again make sure that you're you're not just sort of speaking in the heat of the moment or the heat of passion when mars turns retrograde it's time to go back and sort out any details that you missed in the past now the full moon is in a really good place for you it's in your creative and open and happiness zone but having said that it's conjunct saturn which can put a, a downer on the proceedings but basically i always like to look on the upside the upside of this is the universe is saying right it's time to really emotionally commit to what makes you happy not what makes other people happy what makes you happy um, and you're also getting super psychic as we move on to the 29th with mercury entering your psychic zone so trust your instincts take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.